Hello, I'm Jeremy Curry, Director of Training with GW Micro. Since the release of Windowize 7.2, many of you have been asking us if Windowize 7.2 would work with Microsoft Office 2010. The good news is the answer is definitely yes. Windowize was leading the way yet again in screen reader technology by being the first screen reader to support Office 2010. Let's take a little peek at what Windowize can do with Microsoft Office 2010. I'm going to open the Run dialog, which is how I open Word by pressing Windows key R. Dialog. Run. Open o -win Word 1 of 26 combo edit box. So I just happen to be using Eloquence here. Inside of this edit box, I've already typed in WinWord, which is what I use to open up Microsoft Word, so I'm going to just press Enter here. Desktop. Document 1 Microsoft Word. Section 1 of 1 style normal. Page 1 of 1 column 1 of 1 print layout document 1. I've just opened up Microsoft Word 2010. Now for those of you who are familiar with Office 2007, you're already familiar with the concept of the ribbon. Office 2010 keeps that same concept. So I'm going to press Alt to access the ribbon. Home. Alt. H. One of eight tab control. Arrow. And again, for those of you who are used to Word 2007, this should sound very familiar. It had a home tab as well. And if I were to explore these tabs by pressing the right arrow, you'll notice that these tabs are exactly the same as the tabs that were in Office 2007. Insert. Alt. N. 2 of 8. There's the Insert tab. Page Layout. Alt. P. 3 of 8. The Page Layout tab. References. Alt. S. 4 of 8. References. Mailings. Alt. M. 5 of 8. Mailings. Review. Alt. R. 6 of 8. View. View. Alt W. 7 of 8. View, and I happen to have an extra one in here because I've installed some plugins and it's called Accessibility. Alt Y. 8 of 8. Accessibility. I'm just going to left arrow back over till I get to ribbon. home. A insert home. Alt H. 1 of 8. And I'll press escape to get out of the ribbon. Style normal. Page 1 of 1. Column 1 of 1. Print layout document 1. So there, Window Eyes is telling us we're back in the document area. Now, one of the things that has changed is that there's something new inside of Office 2010 called Backstage. For those of you who are used to Office 2007, you will remember that there is an Office button that you could access with Alt F. And it had many of the same types of things that you would find inside of the file menu inside of Word 2003. The good news is the keystroke is still the same. The operation of it's just a little bit different. So I'm inside the document area. I'm going to press Alt F. F. Save. Arrow. The first thing you'll hear is save. That's pretty handy because that's what most of us want to do. Now your typical hotkeys like Control S and Control O, all those things are still going to work. But this is now inside of what Microsoft calls Backstage. This uses something called UIA for User Interface Automation. And it's something you're going to be hearing a lot more of. We've had to do a lot of work under the hood to make this work very well. But UIA is going to become more and more popular as time goes on. For sighted people, it kind of looks similar. But under the hood, this is all different than what things used to be like. So the first thing I hear is save. If I press my down arrow, save as. There's save as. Sounds familiar. Keep down arrowing. Open. Open. Close. Close. Down arrow again. Info. Tab control. Now, this time it said something a little bit different. It said info, tab control. Well, typically when I'm teaching my students and they hear something like tab control, that usually means that they can tab through the, the, the rest of the dialog, or in this case, the rest of the backstage. There's info here. That means I could tab to some other things, but I'm going to keep going down here just so you hear what's here. Recent. There's recent. New. New. Print. Print. Save and send. Save and Help. send. Help. Add in. Alt F Z button. Now we've changed back to buttons here. Those other ones were tab controls. These are add-ins. Options. Options. That's where it, we used to be under tools and options in Word 2003. It's still under here inside of backstage, similar to how it was in Office 2007. Exit. And exit. I'm going to go back up to that first item that we heard. Let's just going to keep arrowing Save. here. New. Recent. Info. The first thing that we heard was info, and that's the first one that told us it was a tab control. So what I'm going to do is press my tab key. Protect document. Alt F I P list drop down button. And we've got various buttons here. If I keep tabbing. Check for issues. Alt F I I list drop down button. Tab again. Manage versions. Alt F I R list drop down button. You'll notice these are drop down buttons. So if we press enter on them, they're going to open up another list. Recover and save documents. Context menu. You'll hear that it says context menu, so if I down arrow. Delete all unsaved documents. Okay, so I'm hearing some of these other items here. I'll press escape to get out of that. Menu closed. 
Manage versions. Alt F I R list drop down button. And I could keep tabbing around here, but I'll leave some of the mystery here for when you go out and get your copy of Office 2010. I'm going to shift tab Next until I get document. back to my Alt, info. info. Tab control. All right, so I'm on this tab control. Let's down arrow to print. Recent. New. Print. That's one we're all very familiar with. And normally with print, you had to select out of a context menu whether you wanted a print preview or some other items. Well, watch this. This is pretty handy. If I tab from here, print. Alt F P P button. I'm right on my print button. So if all of my items, as far as the options that I want to have as in regards to printing, are the same, all I have to do now is just press Enter on print. Of course, I can still do that Control P, but it's nice that the print button is right here, up where we need it, rather than having to tab down away from it a whole bunch of times. And I could continue to tab through here and set up some different options. So as you can see, Windowize is working very, very well with this, just lawlessly, with this new backstage that Microsoft has implemented using this UIA automation. I'm going to press Escape to get out of here. Style normal. Page one to one. Column one to one. Print layout document one. And then I'll do an Alt F4 to close Word. System. Recording. Once attention. Menu closed arrow. So now that you've had a chance to check out some of the cool new features inside of Microsoft Word 2010, I'm going to show you some of the new features inside of Outlook 2010. So I'll press my Windows key. Start menu. Down arrow Search twice. Box. Microsoft Outlook 2010. Press Enter. Opening Microsoft Outlook. Unread from Peter Wool Subject 3 Braille Sense on hand announcement received 271 2010 4 25 p.m. size 3 kb. You're seeing some email that we pass back and forth here internally. If I down arrow inside of my inbox. Unread. From. Covered Bridge Farms subject hello from Covered Bridge Farms. Received 271 2010 343 p.m. size 784 b. Now this sounds all the same, but actually under the hood, again, this is a little bit different using some of the new UIA features because before we actually had to go through and label graphics inside of the inbox or different boxes inside of Microsoft Office Outlook. So for example, it might not say red or unread if that graphic didn't get labeled properly for your resolution when you were doing some changes. Now that's no longer true. Those will always speak with new Microsoft Outlook 2010. Some of the other changes that have taken effect is that Outlook used to be kind of a mishmash of both the menu system and uh, the ribbon, and now it's the ribbon everywhere. So for example, I'm here in my inbox, and if I press Alt, Home. Alt H, one to five tab control. You can hear there's now a tab control. If I right arrow, send receive Alt S, two to five. There's a send receive tab. Let's see what these other ones are. Folder Alt O, three to five. A folder tab. View Alt V, View. four to five. Add ins Alt X, five to five. And add ins. Let's go to see what's to the left of Home. Alt. File tab Alt F oh, so you'll notice there's that File tab button again, very similar to Word 2010, so you're seeing some consistency here. If I press Escape to get out of the ribbon. Unread. From. Covered Bridge Farms subject. Hello from Covered Bridge Farms. Receive 271-2010-343-P. And I'll silence that because we've already heard that information, but if I wanted to open this, I can still press Enter, just like I always have in the past. Hello from Covered Bridge Farms. Message plain text section 1 to 1. Web layout hello from Covered Bridge Farms. It's reading us information about the message. If I wanted to read the entire message, I could do my Control Shift R. Blank. Blank. Visit our farm and taste our wonderful fresh eggs. Blank Covered Bridge Farms. www.coveredbridgefarms.com. Blank. And so it's reading that email to me. I could still go through and use my various hotkeys to be able to read various pieces of information. Two. Apostrophe Jeremy Curry. So I did an Alt 3 there to read who it was to. CC. I did an Alt 4 to see if there's anyone CC'd, and there wasn't. Let's try Alt 6. Subject. Hello from Covered Bridge Farms. That reads my subject, and Alt 7. Attachments not found. It says attachments not found because there aren't any. This is kind of a very quick overview of Microsoft Office 2010, but the good news is, as I mentioned earlier, if you have Window I 7.2, you can access all portions of Microsoft Office. And don't forget, on Script Central, there's even now a new script for Microsoft Office Access, so you might want to check that out as well. So now that you've got kind of a sneak peek at both Word and Outlook 2010, Excel and PowerPoint are going to work very well as well. I'm going to leave those kind of a mystery for you to go out and check out on your own. You can run down to your local consumer store and pick up your copy of Office 2010 to make sure that you've got Window I 7.2 and check it out for yourself. It's definitely accessible. So if you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call at 260 489 
3671. You can contact our technical support department as well via email at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at gwmicro.com. Or if you've just got general sales questions, you can email us at sales at gwmicro.com. Thanks for watching this short video on Office 2010 and Windows 7.2, and we look forward to talking with you in the future.